guys welcome back to yet another episode so for those who are new my name is jojo and uh, in today's episode i'll be showing you how i get to put up this wallpaper that is from rh wallpapers onto that side of the wall so i'm making over the corridor and uh, the first thing that was done was definitely painting and uh, having wainscoting done on both sides but uh, i didn't do wainscoting at the end because that's where i want to put up the wallpaper and then i have a beautiful beautiful mirror from pintel designs that i think i'll be showing you as uh, we go along with the project but uh, for now what you're doing is installing this wallpaper and it's so so easy installing our wallpaper is so easy and uh i'd like to show you guys how i get to it yeah. so what you'll need is definitely your wallpaper so i'm um, have this is uh, this is not even a roll this is uh, maybe like half a roll because the space i'm doing is so small that's the only place that i'm doing the wallpaper and then definitely you'll need your wallpaper glue this is the one that i used from rh wallpapers and of course you're going to need your tape measure because you need to know how long and wide your space is before cutting the wallpaper so that at least you know when you're cutting the wallpaper you have like the exact not like the exact but you have the exact measurements and give a few allowance a few centimeters for allowance sake just in case and then the other thing you need is um something to like squeegee your your wallpaper but you can also you can use something that you have lying around the house you don't have to have like a professional squeegee and uh yeah a bucket of water a jug of water so that you can be able to mix your glue with that and uh, with the water so that you can make a paste and then apply the wallpaper and the wall and it's that easy so let me start by which one should i start first so let me do let me mix the the powder because the glue comes in powder form so maybe i can open so that you can see how it is so and this they say that this is enough for a roll it's enough for five five to six rolls of wallpaper this one i had a feeling you'd come back and save me from all those lonely nights and heartbreaks and i feel misplaced without you why don't we go back to why don't we go back to never wanted to end Paper so that you can be able to cut and start pasting it on the wall. Don't we go back to? Why don't we go back to? Never wanted to end things like we did. I'm sorry for all those promises I made you. Better. So the length is 232 and the wing is 93. It's 93 so and uh, 
This is our wallpaper. Definitely the length will, will be enough. Now, I want to see the width. The width is... Uh, it's a 53.5 and the, the wall is 93. So it means I'll have to do two layers. So I can't, since I have extra wallpaper on the side, so maybe I can start from here. There's a there's like a small one, small part here. So maybe I can now start from here, going like this, and see where the the rest of the wallpaper will reach. So let me now start applying. No, let me start cutting. Let me cut the wallpaper first. The first the first roll and then put on glue and then we can now do now the second one So I'm doing an allowance of uh, like uh, two two more centimeters. Our height was two thirty two, but I'm cutting it at two thirty five. That is actually three three centimeters. Let me be, bring you closer so I can see what I'm doing. Now the second one I misplaced my cutter but at least I have the extra bits so this is what I'm going to use because these are socket there let me see if I can take it closer and you can see so there's this switch over here that I need to cut so that at least the wallpaper is flat onto the surface I can't do this with one hand, so let me cut it and then I'll show you. So this is the final result now after cutting. So everything is stuck on the wall. Now to apply glue. So it's all done, and uh, I can say I've done a pretty good job being my first time. But the good thing is, I'll be having a golden mirror on the top of the wallpaper, so you can imagine the contrast and how much it will pop. So that is it. Maybe now we can um, 
move to the next process some other day uh, most likely sometime next week because uh, hey, this week is packed I can't do anything else on, on the wall or this pick off I can't do this I can't do it again this week but I'm tired so let me go fix something to eat and um, call it a night I'll see you next week <laughs> Tuesday guys so today is soccer day and I have just completed my soccer so it's around this is around 4 4 p.m. but I've just completed posting and now I have to go back and now start responding but uh, at least some of the items have sold already so what I want to do is uh, today was uh, I had happy hour so for those who don't know I'm working with Jumia so I have a discount code for Jumia food. So today we are doing like happy hour and uh, I did order my food. My happy hour was between 11 to 2 p.m. And my food came, it was early, maybe around 1, but I was not in a position to have the food. So now is when I want to eat. So I did order, it was Kawaida food. So Kawaida is like home cooked meals. So I had, I'm having chicken biryani. And uh, I ordered from a restaurant that I have never ordered before. So I want to see how that is. So this is um, kachumbari. But I think I should be opening this, this one last. Yes, kachum, yes. And I think they have pilipili pili on the side. So this is how it is. Ah, let me pause. I'm supposed to be doing like filming using my phone for my IG and in this content creation life. And I have already started opening and I have not uh, started filming from the phone. So let me quickly do that and then we can continue. We can continue. So this is the second thing. So this is the biryani chicken and then oh. I should have gotten my kitchen scissors but anyway we are halfway there. And it comes open. Ah, and this is my biryani rice. So let me plate everything. So this is a plate that I'm using. So. But let me let me get like a serving spoon. I should have had it when it was hot. Because there's no choosy. But anyway, it's fine. Then the last thing now, I do my kachumbari, and it has pili pili. So, but I'm a fan of pili pili, so I don't mind it as much. Now I should now clear everything here. Thanks to Jumia and um, I have a code that uh, I'll be sharing with you my code is I hyphen first Jojo and it is not case sensitive so you can do it in caps 
or uh, even small letters and uh, you get to enjoy a discount every time you off you order on jumia anything above 500 bob so let me go enjoy my lunch because i'm finished since hey, since i think yesterday that's the last time i had something to eat and the thing is um let me stop so the thing is i don't know maybe guys who live alone you can tell me how you survive do you enjoy cooking food for one like how often do you cook because for me eh, i can't remember the last time i cooked so i usually cook maybe once once per week or something and uh yeah that's how i've been surviving so it's either i have like one meal per day so if i'm having breakfast i do like a kind of heavy breakfast or uh, if it's dinner i do like heavy dinner and then maybe a snack in between but uh, i'm curious to know if you live alone kindly give me tips on, on how you survive in terms of cooking because i don't believe in meal prep because uh, i don't think how can you make like a meal on sunday and have it maybe on friday or saturday even monday or tuesday any anyway, i have nothing against those those who do meal preps because uh, eh, i have mad respect for you because it's a lot of work you can imagine like cooking all that food all at once hey that's a lot but uh, anyway let me know give me tips on how you handle cooking if you live by yourself so let me go enjoy my lunch currency of jumia jumia quotes because uh, can you imagine all this i paid 250 bob for all this and i get to enjoy my yummy biryani let me see if it's um, yummy before i start saying yummy biryani it's cold let me warm it happy friday guys so it's around the midday and i'm planning to go to isili today i feel like a super woman i've done my packaging deliveries all that done so now i need to go get some shears and um, i'm using the black backdrop for today i want to see how it looks on camera but uh, i messed up on this side i used the rug that uh, had paint on it so that's why you can see some bits of white over here but anyway that's uh details that i'll share when i'm doing the corridor makeover because that's where i am at the moment and uh I'm loving the way the wallpaper, I'm just loving the wallpaper, the, the texture and also how it came out because this was the first time installing a wallpaper but that's besides the point, I digress. So I'm going to easily, I'm going to look for shears and um, I'll take you guys along and uh, you can see the kind of shears that I go for because I want something thick that I can use without having to use the curtain and uh but if i don't get that one i'll maybe i'll settle for double lining so i can do like double shears but uh, let's go to easily and um see the options that i'll be working with mm, can you light on uh. This is the share that we are going for initially because it's thick and I want to do only shear for now but now ended up picking this one because this the white is more pronounced and also it's it's such a beautiful and uh, the quality the quality of this is nice because it's strong but now this one it looks like it is going to run because there was a point where was it yeah can you see here it looks like it's going to run so if this one is caught by something definitely it will run but this the quality is uh, far much better so you can imagine because now I'm doing like three times three because the rule of curtains if you want them to fold beautifully the rule is you get 
the, the number of meters that you're getting and then you multiply times three. So imagine when you've opened it and it's folding beautifully like this. So this one gives better folds than this one. This one, not so much. Yeah, so that's why we went for this option. And this is funny enough, this is the one that I wanted to pick for my cate for my kitchen when I was doing the kitchen makeover. But now I'll have it in my bedroom or should I say living room? Both. So this is the option that you're going for. I don't feel like waking up without you by my side. I still see your silhouette. Why don't we go back to, why don't we go back to your bedroom? Why don't we go back to your bedroom? 